Hello everyone and welcome to AI with Sohini. So today we are going to be exploring the software called V7. It's an online platform specific functionality is called auto annotate that allows you to automatically generate annotations for regions within a selected region of interest. And we will also look at the interpolate functionality that carries over these annotations across frames. Along with the fact, we are going to change, modify some regions of interest, look at overlapping regions, as well as figure out how the final, uh, you know, segmented image maps look like before you can actually download them. If you're interested in this video, then please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you are a medical researcher or a researcher who would like to use V7, the free version for your research tasks, then please stay tuned till the end in order for me to cover some of the latest updates that are specific to medical imaging that are coming out with V7. So stay tuned. So as a first use case, this is a uh, .nii files like, and again, the, the, the links to the data sets I will be providing in the description box below. So once you have uploaded the data set using the data set tab, you can actually open it through the annotate uh, you know, window. And now you will see that all the 200 you know, frames that actually belong to this data set have, have now been loaded. So you can actually walk through them. Now, the important part is sometimes you will see that the images are not, uh, that the brightness and everything, it, it, it's not good. So you come to this third tab from, from, the, from the top and here you can see you can manipulate the brightness, the contrast in order to make it useful for your annotation purposes. Once the images are enhanced, we are going to go and add add you know classes that we are going to be annotated. So once this is done, I am going to be starting with the auto annotate functionality. All right, so once the annotations have been done, this is about after 40 minutes of um, you know, annotating, you will see that you are now able to get um, you know, 20 to 35. So it's about uh, you know, 13 annotated frames, but as you can see, there are multiple areas, multiple regions of interest. And here, these annotations are carrying over from one you know, frame to the other because of this interpolate function. Now, one functionality uh, that I did wanna show you is what happens if there are um, you know, regions of interest that are overlapping. So this is an example where you have a lung and then you also have, you know, auto annotate functionality. And if I just, you know, click on a region of interest, it's going to, you know, detect what that region is. However, what I can also do is I can select and deselect regions. So if I, let's say I want more regions here to get selected here, you see the blue dots actually means capture more area. And here, if I want to start deselecting areas, then if I if I click, you see the the red uh, dots actually means the regions that should be removed, um, you know, from the region of interest. So now you can just click out of it. Um, same way, I can actually you know continue in in the other lung. So now that we have annotated, I wanted to show you what is the impact of layering option in order to you know, get your final semantic segmentation map. So as you can see that now you have overlapping regions, right? You have your lung and your lung opacity, which is actually overlapping regions of interest. So that is the reason why 
you need to figure out how should you actually export the the data so in order to get just get an idea of it we can just increase the annotation fill opacity and the border opacity and just reduce the brightness and the contrast uh, in order to get an idea as to what the final semantic segmentation map would look like now since the lung areas are the large areas they should be the bottom layers and that's what this shows final thoughts i believe in its current version v7 is very well set up for medical image annotation purposes mainly because of the layering approaches so that you can you know have joint or regions of interest that are you know overlapping along with you know annotating interpolated regions for volume scans very you know pretty easily i was able to get through about 20 25 images for extremely intricate landmarks in in about 40 minutes which is actually uh, which is actually pretty useful and then uh, i would say that um, the functionality of adding and reducing you know regions of interest using the auto annotate functionality along with the recent view in which you can actually take a look at the sagittal coronal as well as axial planes together makes it super useful in order to you know pinpoint surgical uh, site you know that can be regions of interests uh, for surgical purposes so with this v7 i would say is by far the most enhanced and the most useful in the medical imaging community and again because it's free version i really motivate you and encourage you to try it out for your use cases i hope you like this video stay tuned for other videos